Hey, welcome back to the channel. I know a lot of you have heard the big news this week that in UEFN, Unreal Editor for Fortnite that is, um, you now have the abilities to bring in your metahuman. So here is Eric and he is in my Fortnite level, but let's go back and show you how that is done. So I'm going to create a brand new project. I'll just choose Island Templates here from the side and I'll choose a blank template. Let's give that a name down here below and we'll just call it Eric Test and click on Create. Once that project is created, one of the things that you're gonna to need to do is bring your MetaHuman um, into the environment. So for right now, there is no MetaHuman imported. So I go up to Window and I go to MetaHuman Importer. Now before I made this video, I did go and update my MetaHuman. So let me just click right here and you'll notice I have a current MetaHuman. If you don't have one here, you'll have to go to the MetaHuman Creator and make sure you have an update to the latest version. And once you have done that, um, that current MetaHuman should appear here. So I'm gonna click on it. And then if you notice over here, there's medium quality, which is sufficient. And then you would click the download button. I've already done that. And by the way, that takes a long time. So just be patient, grab a cup of coffee, a Mountain Dew, whatever your beverages to wait and um, download that. Once you download it, then you'll click on the add button and that will add it into your island. All right, so now that that has been added into my environment, you'll see there's a new folder called MetaHumans. And if I open that up and open up the Eric, there is Eric right there. And if I drag Eric out into the environment, um, you know, hey, voila, there he is. But that is actually not what you want to do because that is not a non-player character. That's almost like a piece of art. So let's go ahead and just take that. I'm gonna hit the delete key on my keyboard and he is gone. What you need to do to add him into your environment as a non-player character, that's what I'm gonna do for this demo, is just click on all here in the lower left corner and type NPC. And that will bring you to the NPC spawner. NPC is non-player character. So now I'm gonna drag out the non-player character to my environment and there he is, but that's not Eric. So what you're gonna to need to do is go over here and make some changes. We're gonna to have to do things for the script and we're gonna to have to do things for the character definition. So in terms of the script and the character definition, I think you should start with the script and then we'll get to the character definition. So we basically need to create a verse script for the behavior, what this character does and I'm just gonna make it basically a very, I'll use a standard uh, use a standard script, you'll see that. So what we need to do now is create a behavior script essentially for this non-player character. And it's really quite simple to do it. It's, I mean, if you read the documentation, it uh, feels a little overwhelming at times, but here's what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the verse menu and you'll make sure that you've chosen the verse explorer. Over here on the right, uh, just click on the top and then right click and say, add a new verse file to the project. Go ahead and choose that. Once you get to this area, you'll see there's an NPC behavior script. Just click on that. And then I would change the name of the script so that you know it's yours. I'm gonna call this one Eric, and then I'll just leave underscore NPC behavior, and I'll click on create. And let's choose save. So now that script right here, the verse class has been created. And if I double click that, it's gonna open up and there is the script. All right, after I've got the script up, I'm just gonna click over here and do run and debug. Uh, everything looks good. The good news is uh, if you're not a verse coder, don't worry about it, you don't have to do anything. So I'm just gonna save that and close the window. So now you have this behavior script inside of your project. And it's showing up right here for me because I have NPC, but I believe it's going to put it, yeah, right there in the uh, in the main folder right there, okay? Uh, actually not, there it is, in the NPC behavior, there's a new folder that's been created. So now with my player selected, over here on the right-hand side, it says NPC behavior script override. We're gonna choose the name of that script that you created and go ahead and click save. 
Now we need to update the character definition. When I say update it, actually we need to create one. So in order for me to create a non-player character definition, I'll click on the menu where it says none, and then go up to the top and choose NPC character definition. And then we can go ahead and give this one a name. I'll just call it Eric and choose save. Your character changed, but no concern. I'll just come over here to the icon, double click and open it up. And this is where I need to change my settings. So what character type is this gonna be? Well, it's a custom character type. What is the behavior of this character? Well, we made the behavior, it's a verse behavior, and then expand the behavior tab, and then under verse behavior, you're gonna choose, yep, you guessed it, that script that we created. All right, so now we've said it's a custom character where the behavior is based on verse, and it's this particular script which was already pre-created and pre-packaged for us. Now we'll go ahead and click on save. Under the modifiers under index we're going to go ahead and go down to where the index zero is and we're going to change the cosmetic properties because this is where we need to set it to our metahuman so the character look right now instead of fortnite character we're going to choose custom character and then from the character blueprint we're going to choose you should see it it should be the name of your metahuman that you brought in you might have to search for it mine is right there at the top and then for the animation preset i believe we need to go to animation preset metahuman locomotion and then once we change those three properties we'll click save and let's see if the magic works i'm going to close this window i'm going to launch the session save everything and let's see if it happens it's going to take quite a bit to go through all the preparation and everything it will eventually launch fortnite and then you'll go into the Fortnite lobby. It will start to download. If you get to this point, uh, you're in good standing. If you didn't, you probably wanna go back through the video again and just follow along so that everything works for you. Uh, if you have questions or comments, feel free to do that. So like I said, Fortnite is gonna load up. You'll be in this little lobby area and you can see in the top right, it's edit mode is preparing. And this could take a little bit because after the preparation mode, it's gonna go to the download mode. Now there were a couple errors that popped up I noticed in red. And these are the two errors that I got. One was that it was saying missing the AI behavior script, but it's not because I connected that, but it is still loading. So let's see how far we get. Game is in progress. There's Eric, let's see, does he move? And he does. So we have successfully brought our metahuman in. If any of you know why we got that uh, message, definitely let me know in the comments below, but that's what it takes to bring your metahuman into the environment. And I'm just using this basic non-player character behavior script. Pretty cool. So many things that we can do. I look forward to animating him and doing a hell of a lot more. But I just want to show you this new capability that was announced this week at the Game Developers Conference.